Morning guys, thanks for joining me again. Um, we are back on the bike build. Today we're going to work on the rear of the bike, so I've turned it around. Um, we've got uh, that to install with some side bearings, uh, side uh, luggage racks, um, and that's what we're going to try and do today. And let's see how it goes. It should be quite a quite a big effort to get this one. Um, there's some drilling on the one side, and the side is just completely bolt on. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, subscribe. So step one is to put the right hand uh, luggage rail onto the right hand side, which is the only place where it can actually be bolted. So I'm just going to take this off. Uh, so we have a bit of space to work with. So that's how easy it is for me to take my number plate off. I just put, I just put two uh, screws through here, and I put my light on the like a blank place of my number plate. So that just makes it easy for me to get it on and off. So flickers come off, or the indicators come off, pretty easy to. Okay. So this is what came with the kit. <clears throat> Get these two very long set screws then these button machine screws with the torx head get two different lengths there and then you get three of these tapered set screws and then some shorter ones with tapered set set screws and then you get three spacers these are aluminium spacers and then you get these they look like for the tapered heads they fit into like a spacer for the tapered head if you can see that so i'm going to try and work out what everything does so these are the two exhaust screws that we took out that these are replacements for those so you can see they're just mildly longer so i'm assuming the back spacer goes on like that. Alrighty, we're gonna slide this in and then see what we Next item is to add this quite loosely. So you can see here, um, this is the airbox here, this is open here. We're going to drill, there are four holes here. We're going to drill those into the side here. But only once we kind of get the orientation correct. So I'll reference it with, so if you look at the back here. The, the, that hole is still to be drilled, so we'll drill that one in and we'll try and drill this one the same as that one to get a good reference point. So I've had a good look underneath here and I can find a little gap over there. So I'm just going to try and I think it's about there. So just looking underneath here. Where we're about to drill is in a very similar place. You're gonna to have to take a good inspection here. You obviously can't, this has got some movement here, so you can't go all the way in because you won't be able to drill. Maybe we can drill at an angle, but I'm just gonna bring it 
hat mal ein Fleck. So that's a squat toucher. It's going to help the, the head of the button set screw to get through. So here we go. You can see four of them from there on the outside. All the way to the back here. And they're screwed on the inside here. One, two, three, four. Looking quite good. I think that's bloody excellent, eh? I think it's a cracker of a good um, rear luggage rack. I can't fault it. Time will tell. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, um, this went in really well. I'm actually, I'm very pleased with it. I think Mike and his team at Nomad have done a good job. Um, if you think it's not gonna be strong enough, um, I think it's stronger than what he claims it to be. So, yeah. So, you know, if you need one, I would recommend going and buying one. They're not very expensive and um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel if you like these videos. And next episode, I think we're going to tackle the steering damper. All right. Oh, and I've got another surprise for you. Surprise, surprise for me. <laughs> um, I've got another fuel tank coming um, from a chap here in South Africa. And it's actually going to sit in the front of the engine here. So... Um, yeah, I'm just chatting to him at the moment and I'll, um, I should be getting it uh, as holidays at the moment, so it's a bit tough on deliveries and things. But essentially it's a new header, new pipes, um, middle pipe, new end pipe and a, a big, I think it's about a 9 litre fuel tank that sits here. So it's going to save me from using this. So I'm not going to have to use these at the back anymore, which is, which is what I was going to do. So that's why I haven't put the side luggage on uh, for now. I'll put the side luggage on once it's an adventure bike. But uh, for now, I'm going to leave these, keep these just in case. I can put the small one at the back here if I really want to. But um, yeah, so stay tuned. Probably in a couple of episodes time, we'll stick the front fuel tank on. Then I should have age 15 plus maybe 10 liters, 25 liters. So, um, the race director, Garth Roberts, at the Calorie Rally has suggested 25 litres should be sufficient. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. Stay tuned.